Hi everybody, I wanted to come back with another video since we're still in quarantine, just trying to find things to do. Um, one of the things I wanted to work on was um, my vanity, my bathroom. This is where I apply all of my makeup and I decided to kind of do some DIYs. I'm super into crafts and doing different things and so I kind of wanted to take what I had and just do some DIY glam things to it. So this is a tray that I got um, from Home Goods a while ago, and I just wanted to add a little bit more sparkles to it. Um, I went ahead and just saw some other just inspiration videos from YouTube, and one of the things that I really liked um, that really gave that shine and glitter was German glass. I had never used it before. Um, so just disclaimer, I didn't use gloves. Definitely do so only because you're working with glass. So I used um, Mod Podge and um, I like because it dries clear. This is the um, German glass. I got gold and I also got a bag of um, silver. So with this one, I just kind of wanted to mix them up a bit. I think my color palette in my bathroom um, has like some gold and some silvers. And so I just wanted to do just a mix. So to start, I just kind of, in the areas I wanted to attach the German glass to, um, I just used um, some Mod Podge and paintbrush and just kind of went over those areas. So with that, I just kind of mixed both colors together just to kind of just get a bit of, you know, both of those shines going. And then just with a little, I think I used like a sticky note or something, but just something small enough that I can scoop up the um, glass with and just kind of sprinkle it on. And again, because it is glass, be very careful um, because it does tend to get everywhere. It doesn't necessarily blow around like regular glitter does, but again, you don't want it to get stuck underneath your fingernails or you know on your feet or anything else so just be super careful with it but i just love the shine it is absolutely gorgeous So just kind of going around, filling that in, and then the next thing I wanted to use, these are my Q-tips. So I had this cup just sitting on my dresser forever, and then also this vase. So I just kind of wanted to repurpose them instead of you know, throwing them out or just you know, give them new life. So of course, just washing them off, they were pretty dusty and just really needed a good cleaning. So after I did that, um, just kind of getting all of the things prepared, again, I'm gonna be using the silver and the gold and just kind of mix those um, both together just so I can have almost like the same color palette going. And then I also purchased this um, like gem ribbon from Amazon and I'll link everything down below, but it's absolutely beautiful. And I love that it has the clear backing to it. So you can just add that to anything. I wish I could find it in a bigger roll. I think they purposely do that because they know they want you to come back for more. And then I also got this from Amazon too. And these are beautiful, just little gems and you can add those to anything. So I was still trying to decide how I was gonna use everything, but I will forewarn you with glitter and all of those other things, it could be very addicting. So yeah, so I was just, as I was pointing out, I'm just gonna start with the Mod Podge and just kind of do it halfway down the jar, just like this, and that's kind of, you know, just to set a border of where I wanna add um, the German glitter.
So again, just adding that in and tapping off the excess. And again, be super careful or wear gloves just because you don't want anything to get stuck um, underneath your fingernails or in your fingers or anything like that. So, but I just love the shine. It's almost like tiny little diamonds everywhere. It's beautiful. And then continuing the same thing, I wanted to kind of start in the middle as you can see. And with this one I already did, but I wanted to show you um, just, you know, with the Mod Podge, it's great because it's a glue, but it's also a sealer. So I went ahead and did the vase and then let it dry for a couple of hours and then sealed it. So the only thing I do notice that I have to find something else. If you guys know, please leave your comments down below. With this, the German gl um, glass, I mean, it sticks really well, but as you can see on my finger, it does come off a bit. Um, and I think sealing it is better so that you don't have anything coming off later. But I do notice that once I seal it, it doesn't have the exact same glitter and shine as before. So nothing comes off as you can see, but, and you can kind of see like a thin layer of how it dries and how clear it does come out. So I do love the Mod Podge. And I think this one is in the high lust luster. I will link it down below. Um, so it dries really well, but because of that coating, it's just not the same shine. And I'll show you the comparison in a second. So I wanted to just kind of see like how I was going to add this, like should I add the border to it? Um, I definitely know I want to add it to this jar. It is a bit thick, so I know I don't want the ribbon to be so thick, so I know I'm going to have to cut this, but just kind of mapping it out to see the look and um, just like what I want the final outcome to be before I start hot gluing. So it's always good to kind of test it out and map it out and see what you like. So just showing you the comparison, as you can see, like with the vase, it's good to, um, you know, just kind of seal it. But when you don't, this is what comes off. And so I love the really high luster of, you know, without um, putting it on. And again, if you guys know of something else that I can use to seal it in, please let me know so it can keep that luster. I really do like this product but I wanna be safe and not have anything, you know, coming off on my hands every time I pick it up. So I went ahead and I cut the ribbon in a smaller, thinner size, just so that it can be the border to go around the jar. And these are some other options that I found at the Dollar Tree as well. Um, I got gold and I got silver, and it's really nice that the Dollar Tree is still open through all of, um, you know, the closings and things like that, so at least I can just kind of wear my mask and my gloves and everything and go in and just still pick up some things that I can work on at home. So isn't this ribbon absolutely gorgeous? I love this. I wish I could find it in a loose jar and kind of make this ribbon myself. I have not been able to find it at all so I'm gonna keep looking but if you guys know where it is please let me know down below and I will get it immediately I love how beautiful it is so I went ahead and just added the um, hot glue and I'm just gonna kind of go all the way around with this it's a really stretchy ribbon too because it's like a plastic backing so it's really nice that you can kind of pull it tight um, to get it flat and then these are the jewels I got from Amazon as well you can use these to um, fill vases or you can use them for what I'm gonna do which is kind of putting them either on the sides I couldn't decide but I think I'm just gonna leave them at the top as you can see so this is another jar that I had and I needed something for my small makeup brushes and so I decided to use these and kind of go all the way around. I didn't want to incorporate too much gold into everything I was doing just in case I decide to repurpose it. But as you can see, you can see the hot glue towards the rim and I didn't like that. So I wanted to cover it up with some of the ribbon. So 
this was pretty much the final look for this one. Um, I really liked how it came out and just kind of bringing that, you know, look down with the other ribbon. But of course, you always get those spider webs when you use hot glue. So you just have to make sure that you can go back and just kind of clean that up. And I still find after a couple of days, I find a new string that I still have to pull off. So if you see any extra in the final look, just know that I will clean those up. But I really liked just the look of this, just to kind of go around and add some more details to this one too. And again, once you find sparkles, it's kind of hard to stop adding them. So as you can see, this is the mess that is my vanity in my bathroom where I sit and do all of my makeup and I just, it needed a cute makeover and that's what I wanted to do. So cleaning this all up, that's what I was excited just to kind of put everything together. So I'm super happy how everything turned out. It looks beautiful and it was fun and even better to have something to do during this time. I hope you loved it. Please leave your comments um, down below if you have any questions and don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you so much.